Today I'm going to be asking for some feedback on several features that I'm working on for a future version of the Electric Eel Wheel 5.x spinning wheel. Uh, there's also a survey that I'll be linking to in the show notes. In this video I'll actually be saying which question of the survey I'm talking about and if you can take the time to fill out that survey plus watch this video it would be super helpful for me when I'm designing this new version of the Electric Eel Wheel. So the first question is do you prefer a longer tension dial or a shorter tension dial? Now the reason I ask is, as you can see here, um, the longer tension dial um, sticks out a little bit, but it can have a larger diameter, so it's actually easier to turn. Uh, you don't adjust the tension that often, but this one's a little bit easier to turn. If you go with the shorter dial, like this, it's a little harder to turn. I can probably adjust things a little bit, but it's never going to be as easy to turn. But if you look at it from this angle, you can see it's flush with the side. So this one's going to be much more protected from things. I'm not really too concerned about them actually breaking off because the type of plastic that I'll be using is really durable and it would take a really hard hit to break it off, but it could bump into things. And this one, how it hides away is probably a, a little more aesthetically pleasing. So I just like people to fill out the survey on if their preference is for that shorter dial or the longer tension dial. Now the second question is, there's several types of tension dials. Um, I designed this one and 3D printed it, but uh, I had a designer I'm working with do some sketches for other ones and I'll, I'll show those and they're in the survey as well. So. Um, I'm hoping that people can help me pick out which di dial style they prefer. Now the last question is, where do you want all of the controls? So this will be the front of the wheel and there will be um, five different um, electrical kind of controls or indicators that I have. I have the plug where you'll put the um, foot pedal, the power plug, this is an LED indicator. Uh, this will be a switch. This will work a little different than the previous versions. I actually um, will have a, a switch that chooses between, you know, Z uh, twist, S twist, and then off will be, um, this will be, and the center will be off, similar to how the Nano works, but the, the switch will be bigger and easier to use, which is uh, pretty nice. I like how this has been uh, working during my testing. But, um, the switch and then there's the speed control here and it'll have a nice knob like the the previous ones did but uh, the question I had was I was gonna initially go with sort of this L design uh, circuit board and that just doesn't work so I'm gonna have to if I want some of the controls on the back and some of them on the side I'm gonna have to do two pieces and then have some extra plugs and wires connecting them which isn't a big deal um, it adds a little expense but um, I'd really like to understand if people would rather have sort of the controls separated this way where you get um, some of them on the back and some of them on the side or if you'd prefer to have all of the controls sort of easily accessible on the side and there's plenty of space to space them out nicely and I'd put the you know speed control and the the ten um, the spin direction switch uh, closest and then as you progress backwards you'd have less and less commonly used uh, plugs and switches and indicators. So uh, I'm sure everything would fit nicely here, but then you'd have, you know, the power cable and the um, foot pedal switch uh, cables coming out the side. And that wouldn't really be quite as aesthetically pleasing, I think, as having them come out the back. But I talked to some people and they said, yeah, we'd like to have all of the cables, all of the plugs sort of in one spot right here on the side. And some other people have said, oh, they want to have them split up like I was sort of originally planning to do it. And I, I kind of would like people to, you know, give me some feedback. Do you want all of these controls on the side or do you want some on the side and some on the back? Uh, so there, that's the third survey question. And it's the last one. So if you can help me out by filling out that survey now, it would be super helpful. Thanks for watching.